Hello everyone, this is Battle Phoenix here, and today we're going to be showing off my game room tour, because I think it would be a good time to do it at least once a year at the end of the year. Well, since now it's actually 2014, which, Happy New Year! Okay, let just throw that shit away. Anyways, we're going to be uh, showing off, well, not we, it's going to be me, I'm going to be showing you all of, like my game room, like what it looks like, and all the, the all the collection of stuff that I have up to date. Now, I will call this room of 2013 since well this is pretty much what it looks like from like 2013 for the most part but then at the end of this year in 2014 if youtube is still around by then then i'll be doing another one which will probably look a lot different maybe who knows anyways i'm not gonna babble on too much because i have a feeling this video is gonna be really long so anyways just enjoy it with what you can so um all right let's get this started Alright guys, so this is just like an overview of like the whole entire like basement, because that's where like my game room is. Yep, so that's pretty much like the basics of it. Now let's just get it a little bit closer in. And at the top here you have the, okay that light's really bright, but uh, okay, at the top you have that uh, little thing up there, uh, I forget what it's called there, but it holds your NES games on it. I used to use it though, but I don't use it that much anymore, so I just have it up there unless I have more. Then there's the good old NES, the box one. I actually have the top loader one, so this one I just keep up here for good sakes. And then we have a uh, Hell Gas from uh, uh, Kill Killzone 3. I was gonna say Follow for some reason, but no, Killzone, which came with the collector's edition. All right, now we go into the NES games. I have uh, quite a bit. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I hope you can see it though, because I know the lightness of the light bright over here is like fucking bright as hell. Alright, so I don't know if you can see all these. There's some good titles in here. At least I'm very happy with some of the ones I own. Some of them I've owned for many years. Some of them I've, well, you know, picked up recently or whatever. And uh, hopefully you can read them. And I know some of them you can't see, like this one right here. It's a tendon cart. Which I believe it's Shinobi, I believe. Alright. Now down here, we have Super Nintendo. I don't know if you can read these either since they're really small, but... You know, I'm pretty sure you can take a guess what the black one is. And, and hold on, maybe I can just get in a little bit more. Alright. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed the Super Nintendo. I don't have, like, a super ton load of it like I wish, but it is a really good system, though. I really enjoy it. Down, down here, we have um, N64. And, yeah, unfortunately, you know, end labels. You know, they don't have them, but I do plan on doing some of most of them, or if not labels, then at least, like, custom boxes, or maybe even real boxes if I can get a hold of any, because those are expensive. But either way, I'm pretty sure the only thing can be able to tell the colored ones, or, like, you know, this. <laughs> you know, what other N64 game has, like, half, like, gray and half gold? Oh, there's the regular gold one. It's obviously the um, Majora's Mask. Then I don't know why I kept the box version of a um, an adapter thing for the N64, but I just don't see it very often because I found that at a thrift store. I thought that was kind of cool. Then I have my PS1 and 2 memory cards. I don't know why I have them here, but might as well have them here than any other place. Now down here is mostly the Sega-related things. I don't have a lot of Sega stuff. I didn't really grow up with one, but this is pretty much all what I have. From what I've had for a couple years or what I've had for, um, like, just picked up, those are the box Genesis games. Not a lot, but I'm pretty happy with it. There's some good titles. And this is the um, the loose carts. It's pretty decent stuff. Then we have a master system. Unfortunately, I don't have the system, but I do have the um, like some games that I randomly found, like uh, like Michael Dawson's Woo Walker and then Eastwat. And we have some little ones here. Uh, unfortunately, there's no end labels, but one game I will show off, which is actually a very hard game to find is uh, you know the YS series yep I got it for 99 cents just gonna show that off real quick just because I thought that was pretty amazing since I didn't know what that game was until I looked it up and then we have some Dreamcast stuff fortunately I don't have a lot but it's pretty cool though I I do like my Dreamcast though then we have the Sega Saturn which obviously I have like not very much at all, but for what I do have of it, I really do like the Saturn, and also, it's really hard to collect for it around here, which is a shame. Then down here, well, first off, we have the collector edition box for uh, Killzone 3, which was given to me by uh, EB Games when I bought a new PS3. Yeah, it was, surprisingly, they were pretty nice to me. 
And over here we have some crap. Well, the more like their trade stuff. I'll probably maybe do some. Well, trades are stuff I want to sell, like like doubles and whatnot. And then over here is just some PSP movies, which I don't really want. And then some demo PSP stuff. All right. So now let's get up from here. And this is like the basic like first setup that I have, where pretty much <clears throat> we have a Super Nintendo, we have a PS2. A PS3 and my Wii U is all hooked up here, and we're to sit down, and over here I have some controllers over here, and then I have more controllers in here as well, for like each system that's over here, and then over here I have like random accessories of wires and a bunch of crap and a bunch of rock band stuff, and in case you're wondering what this thing is, I don't know if you can see it from the camera view, but it's basically those things where you put the AVs in there and it connects it to each one because there's buttons here. I don't know if you can see. I can't see it from when I'm recording this though, but maybe you might. Who knows? But it's a very handy tool. And I do when I do plan to get more systems, I might put more of them up here. Like I know a TurboGrafx-16 would look nice there. Now over here, yeah, that's a flat screen. Now over here we have the, the Wii U box up there. Then we have the collector's edition for Atelier Tatori, the, uh, the uh, alchemist of uh, our land. Then we have the the first Neptunia collect, Collector's Edition, which is pretty nice. Then we have the Tale of Exilia box, the Collector's Edition. It's a very light box. In fact, every time I hit the shelf, it always falls off. Which is kind of a shame. Then we have the uh, Sub-Zero Edition of uh, Mortal Kombat Deception on PS2. The um, the bonus thing is inside the, the box, but the actual game is on my shelf somewhere. Alright, let's look through some of the PS3 games. So I'm really, the, the PS3 is probably like the system I collected for the most. Like, I don't know, like, I'm pretty sure you can tell that we have all the stupid Call of Duty games, which I don't play that much anymore. Then we have all the Dynasty Warriors games, which you know I'm a huge fan of. Alright. Do I now more here? Then we have all the other Neptunia stuff. And then we're getting into Metal Gear, which is nice. Then we have my Rock Band stuff. And then... The tail stuff, which you know there isn't a lot. Then there's Yakuza. Then there's Artulico One, which is like one of my favorite RPGs on the PS2. Yeah, because my PS2 games is like start here, and when the PS3 ones end there. Like this is pretty much like what it looks like from an overview of it. All right, then we got uh, Don't Make Cry. Now let's move down a shelf for another PS2 stuff. We have Dragon Ball Z. And apparently, um, Dragon Ball Z uh, Budokai Tenkoichi 3 is getting expensive for some reason. I never even knew. And, um, Dynasty Warrior stuff again. More of it. Guitar Heroes, uh, Dot Hack Games. I, I'm only missing the third one and the other ones. Hitman, which is great. Metal Gear. Mortal Kombat. I don't like Naruto that much anymore, but I used to, but I'm still hanging on to those. And then the Shinigami Tensei things. Alright, now this is the last of the PS2 stuff. Trap. This is an amazing game, if you actually remember if I re reviewed it though. But unfortunately, if you're wondering why this one looks different, it's because it's a custom box. And I actually failed on printing it. We have Xenosaga, which is amazing. And then at the last, we have... Um, this, which is also another one that I had to print out, but it looks like shit. I have to reprint it again. And then down here, okay, let's get this stupid of poster that I wanted to give to my friend. Okay, first of all, we have the 3DO, uh, the real box, which I got from a, an auction at uh, Salvation Army, which is pretty cool. You know, the games that come with it. I never really got any other games for it ever since I did that one pickup, though, but I do plan to get more. Yeah, some really random stuff. Like, probably Out of This World is probably one of the better games I find. in a lot of stupid sports. Alright. Yeah, in case you're wondering what this poster is, it's supposed to be for events to unfold. I don't like them as much anymore. I mean, they have some songs that are okay, but I'm not, like, a huge fan of them anymore where I have a poster in my room, so I'm giving it to a friend of mine. Alright, so yeah, that's basically all this stuff. I mean, I don't know if you were able to read all of it, but hopefully you can. And if not, well, I can just tell you whatever. Alright, this is just a table of stuff. 
Then we have like a bunch of guitars in the back. Real guitars are in the cases. The, those ones are the plastic Guitar Hero ones. Alright, now this is the shelf that I usually like record in front of, as you noticed. Like that was like recording like right there just like a minute ago or so. And we'll just take a look up onto it there. But before then, we have all like my books and stuff. A bunch of mangas and whatnot. Some DVDs are in there. Some of my collector edition books are in there. Some little random stuff. And my little box of controllers with N64 controllers are in there. And a NES stuff. Accessories. I'm not going to take a big look into there. But I usually do keep them there because that's like the system that I have like the most controllers and accessories for. Here's my CD collection. I'm not going to take a big look into it there. But I haven't collected CDs in a while. Like I have like all this full. And there's like back there is a like not that big, and then over here we have the um, mostly the bigger stuff that can't fit in like some of them, or like my um my, like the CDs that I got from my video games. All right, so now we're gonna do here. This is just a random picture I found at Salvation Army. I thought it looked nice. Also, I kind of like the Japanese stuff. There's a Lugia plushie. Uh, Lu Lugia and Ho-Ho uh, figures that came with the, the DS version of uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. The Last Story Box, amazing game. The um, 25th Anniversary of Super Mario Bros. Really disappointed with it, but I thought the box looked cool, so I decided to keep that. Then we have this thing that has like the pins with it. Then we have some AR cards. The box for... Um, Project X Zone and uh, Shimogami Tensei Soul Hackers. Then there's my 3DS that looks really silly, but a friend of mine gave that cover to me, so I wanted to keep that. And then inside this box is usually where I keep my um, handhelds. Like, you know, like the DS, the Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance, my PSP. Over here we have some GameCube stuff. GameCube is another system I really enjoy. And there's all like the Mario stuff, the Metroid, Pokemon. The Sonic, I have a lot of Sonic games for the, for the GameCube. Super Smash Bros. Melee, one of my favorites, and uh, Zelda. And of course this thing is the thing where you can play the Game Boy Advance. Now over here is more handhelds. First you have regular DS. And you know, Mario, Pokemon, all that good stuff, Zelda. Then this is the 3DS where you have Fire Emblem. More Mario, Project X Zone, uh, more Pokemon, and Simigami Tensei and Zelda. And then this is my only boxed um, Game Boy game. It's uh, Final Fantasy Legends 2. Oh, fuck, I have to put that back. But, yeah, it's the only box game for the Game Boy I actually own. And I found it like that for, like, $5, so I thought that was awesome. For here, we have the Game Boy. Don't have any labels, so I can't really tell which ones are which, except for the Pokemon ones or the colored ones. And then there's some Game Boy Advance games at the top. I don't have very many. Although, you can tell what these ones are. Like, this is like the Game Boy camera. And then this is the pinball game right here. That's a case for a uh, regular Game Boy. The big fat one. And I actually do have one in there, by the way. Now down here, we have some PS1. Yes, now, remember when I picked up a uh, bunch of random loose discs and I had to make custom cases for them? Well, that's what the white ones are. Like, this is the Atari one, for example. I have to have to do it for a couple other ones. Let's take a look. There we go. There's the Deception series, one of my favorites. Then we got uh, Final Fantasy stuff, which is all good. And then uh, Medieval. There you go. Mortal Kombat. Okay, we're in the S's. Soul Blade. Tomba 2, yeah, I actually have that miraculously. Sadly, my only Twisted Metal game, but for I liked it just because I grew up with it. Then we have some long box games like um, Kingsfield, and this is a Metal Gear game that came with the um, the big collection thing where it has Metal Gear 1, 2, and 3, and they came with PS1, so I thought I'd put the put it where it goes. Then over here we have some Wii, Wii U, and some PSP games at the end, for because I hardly have any. But, uh, yeah, there we go. We have uh, Fire Emblem, Mario Last Story, Pandora's Tower, and in case you're wondering what that blank case is, that's Red Steel 1. I also have Red Steel 2. So Smash Bros, Valhalla Knights, which I just picked up not long ago, Xenoblade, which is amazing, uh, Legend of Zelda, and Wii U stuff, there's uh, not very many, but it does have, like, I do have, like, eight games for it, but I do like the Wii U so far, but I do plan to pick up more eventually. 
Also, there's going to be some great games coming out very soon. PSP, only like three games. Yeah, not that exciting. Over here, we have two Yu Gi Oh! tins, which are my friends, so I don't know why he left them here. That box is empty, but I will put stuff in there. Those are my regular Xbox games. I also don't have very many. Like, I have like the Dead or Alive stuff, then, you know, Fable, Half Life, Halo, Halo 2, Never Before Christmas, and Rainbow Six, and Scrapland. Yeah, there we go. I just named them all on top of my head. And there's the tripod that I use. Down here, this is my friend's uh, cosplay costume, which he left it here because he. I don't fucking know. Whatever. And then this is the cases for my Bionicles. Alright. Yeah, it's a power bar. Nothing that exciting. Now, this is the other setup I have. It's a fat TV, but it actually works very well. Like, this is my top loader, which is awesome. Let's just get in here, and I'm sitting on this couch. Or, not the couch, but the chair. And look, you can see my reflection. And then there's the Nintendo Wii. I don't know where the stand went, but I have that. My Dreamcast. My Blue N64. My uh, Sega Saturn. Bunch of accessories like controllers and whatnot. And then there's like my big fat old um, remote, but I don't really use it that much because, well, I'm not blind. And not only that, but this TV was given to me by, so by someone who's older, so that's probably why. They have some Wii accessories. Yeah, the, the Wii has a lot of fucking accessories. It's ridiculous. But I didn't buy, like, the really stupid pointless ones, though. But yeah, I really like this TV, though. It's really good for what it is. Then we have my computer desk with a bunch of stuff. Like, this is, like, my Bionicles. I wanted to have them out because I really enjoy them when I was a kid. So I thought I'd just display them out because they're fucking cool. Then we have some random stuff over here, like there's my Pink Floyd discography, the um, Triforce, which is uh, Papercraft from one of my friends, some random figurines, three wizards, like two of them made out of glass, and the other one is the uh, VV from, well, Black Mage in this case, from Final Fantasy. Then we have some buttons that I haven't been used yet, because my Resident Evil button keeps on like falling out of my bag. Some gems that look like the, the Chaos Emeralds. That we have uh, USB sticks, not nothing that special. And this is my computer, and then we have a size, which I'm planning on hanging them up somewhere. Just not, not sure where yet. And my computer, I'm not really gonna go into big detail about it because, well, you know, a computer you can talk about so much. Then over here we have some smaller cased um, PC games, and this thing at the top is my capture card, which I just got for Christmas. I haven't used it yet. And then there's an easy button. Sounds like shit because it's a uh, the batteries in it are pretty much almost dead. But yeah, these are the um, the regular PC games that I have. They're in this little ca small cases. Some of you won't be able to read, but uh, yeah, there's quite a few good ones around here. And yeah, there's like some little box thing where I have all like my drawing stuff and pencils and whatnot. There's my paper because you know that's so important. Then we have uh, a Mario with a clip thingy. Then up here we have a little bunch of random stuff. Like we have this glass dragon here which looks awesome. And then we have uh, this dragon thing. This really old thing which is a piggy bank from like 1940. Maybe in 30s. I don't know. It was given me from my grandpa so that's why I wanted to keep it. And this this little thing. I forget what they're called but you like they... Yeah you know what they are. Then there's a Gallopmon um, model which looks great. Then we have this uh, Roomba, which I just wanted to have that just because I thought it was funny. But in here, in case you're wondering, is my box, like my big box PC games and other stuff like that. Yeah, we have like The Sims, StarCraft, GTA 4, uh, Age of Empires, Enter the Matrix, uh, Lost Planet 2, Black and White 2. Or no, lo lo not Lost Planet 2, Lost Planet 1, Raven. So it's like point and click adventure games and DSX is right here, but it, the case is it's fucked up. StarCraft, uh, Rainbow Six. This game, which is only on floppy disk, which I can't play, but it, everything's in there though, which is nice. Real Quest of Tycoon and uh, Quake and uh, Battle Arena Toshin 2. I can't pronounce that name, but it's a fighting game though, a very old one. I'm, I, I'm, I know there's gonna be a lot of people there that, that know what I'm talking about. Then over here we have like the last little setup here which is another flat screen, and then we have a 
well, right behind the GameCube, which has stickers on it, which I put on when I was a kid. But, uh, yeah, we have uh, that thing that I was talking about where you put the multiple AVs in. We'll have another one for right there. Then there's a Sega Genesis. Don't have any of the add-ons yet, but, you know, I'll get around to it later. Whatever. Down there's my 3DO. With its controllers. There's my regular Xbox. It's a shelf there. And then there's, like, my accessories for... Yeah, the GameCube and the Genesis. But yeah, it's actually a pretty good setup. I like it. There's like the plugins and whatnot. Then over here we have some random art of uh, Van Gogh, just for why the hell not. <laughs> then we have a little random art of uh, a dragon, which looks really badass looking. Then over here there's nothing that much. And you know, I'm not gonna make a big tour of like my entire house, but this is just the basement of it. But yeah, I. I'm like really thankful to be having all this type of stuff. I mean, I like I mean, I do plan on collecting and making like it a lot bigger and making it look different. I th but I do like the way it is right now. But I think that sometime like maybe during like near the end of this year in 2014, I can make it a l I can make improvements. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this. I I really like doing this. Like I mean, I thought this was a cool idea to do this. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and commenting.